So what we have here is a GE 9 inch motor. A little bit shorter than the standard Warp 9 motor. Will fit in a Volkswagen application without having to cut the Volkswagen apart. It has uh, eight mounting bolts on the face, on the face plate. Standard uh, drive end diameter shaft. Uh, it's got a very heavy duty um, brass or bronze uh, brush holder. Get you in here a little bit closer. focus on a little better focus on there um, this motor was built by uh, Jim Husted up in Oregon um, plenty plenty uh, large enough uh, terminals for mounting everything up uh, could easily run uh, easily run a 144 volt system with this motor uh, no problem. Um, and this particular this particular motor, um, as you heard, um, was running um, at 12 volts. And I'll uh, do it again here real quick. Bit of wind in the background here. So running at uh, 12 volts. Uh, plenty, plenty of air. Could easily have an adapter built for this particular motor to fit in an application. Um, I would stick with uh, medium-sized cars or smaller. This was um, in a uh, BMW 2002. It was a 1976 uh, for a very short period of time. Um, the adapter plate, which. Uh, here. It's going to go with the motor. The reason it's going to go with the motor is because the face plate, the mounting plate is already set up for the eight holes. Um, somebody could probably reconfigure that easily to uh, um, for that other, the back part there to make for a Volkswagen bug and actually put it in a Volkswagen bug and have a really nice uh, motor setup and, um, and should have still have plenty of room. So that's what this is here. So I thought you'd like to take a take a good look at the, uh, the adapter plate. There you go. There's the uh, adapter plate after you get into focus. Um, once again, the uh, motor, it is a 9 inch motor. It's not an 8 inch. It's a little bit shorter than the standard. Um, I'll get some, little, see if I can get a little bit more specs on it. But the uh, brush ring is an extremely heavy duty, extremely heavy duty bronze brush ring. Um, the build was uh, Jim Husted, and we know that he does a, a top-notch job. Um, everything looks really clean inside. He, he usually re-insulates everything, um, and from what I can see, that that, that is the case. Um, so, anyway, this is what we have.